Alright, so this video has been brewing for a couple of months now, and it's been only a couple of months since F124 came out, but this is my official announcement that I quit. I am done with F124. It is the worst Formula 1 game I have played. Granted, I've only played like a, a handful, like maybe five or so, uh, but... Of all the footage I've seen, of all the little reviews on YouTube I've seen of older F1 games, especially from 2015 onwards, this is at least the worst one out of all of them ever since we've had the Ego Engine, with the exception of 2015. There is just a severe lack of care and just vision for the game, to be quite honest. It is a huge downgrade and step down uh, from F123 in many areas and I think first of all as I'm showing the footage for it we may as well talk about it the lack the sheer lack of customization is becoming a joke this is one of the most requested things to be expanded upon um, and yet seemingly they're looking at that uh, looking at that criticism and just saying, you know what, let's make it worse. Because there is absolutely no need to only have one, one, one livery available for F1 World and my team cars, um, on my team players, especially, at launch. And as of right now, two months in, it is an absolute travesty. It is a disgrace. It is disrespectful. And... It's only a small factor as to why I'm quitting, but I suppose we should talk about just the gameplay, really. The gameplay is the worst part of uh, F124 and why I'm quitting. So obviously we all know the issues with the handling at launch, uh, the physics, you know, uh, with the way the cars move and the curbs, of course. And those issues have been patched, I will give them that. But there are fundamental issues that can't just be... Well, one of them can be patched out, the other one can't be. But uh, the one that can't be, and one that was a really bizarre design choice considering how the F1 cars work in real life, is the energy recovery system, the ERS. It has gone back to the old days of F1 2018 where you could flick uh, to different modes. However, this is worse. Uh, it would be just fine if it was just, you know, the... Um, just like it was in 2018, where you had high, medium, and low, whatever. Um, with F124, uh, and this was an issue that I pointed out in the first beta, being able to use overtake in qualifying just takes a, a bit of the skill out of it, to be fair. Uh, and it's just unrealistic. I think it turns qualifying in such, into such a sweat fest, uh, especially online and in ranks. Uh, that it, it just ruins the game for me and there's the whole thing with dirty air with the when you're driving behind AI premise wise this is great this is something that should have been in the game for the last few years they've put it in now and it's half baked the AI don't seem to be affected by dirty air at all they will overtake you just the way they did in any other F1 game but if you try to overtake them, you're going to get insane amounts of understeer and all the things that come with dirty air, of course. Uh, but since the AI, you know, the engine temperatures always stay the same, if I remember rightly. The, the tire temperatures, I definitely know they stay the same. It just doesn't affect them. The dirty air does not affect them. So even if you're in the clean air and in front, a lot of the guys behind you, you'll still be fighting them. But if you're behind... You're not going to be fighting them that often. Um, bear in mind, I am a, a hardcore casual of the F1 game, so uh, the esports guys won't necessarily have an issue. The guys who play on the wheel with high difficulties over 100, like, comfortably, you guys won't have an issue. But for most players, this is an issue. This is a huge, huge issue. And bear in mind, I play 95 difficulty uh, with some assists turned on, such as the racing line, for example. Just just the minor assists, you know? I don't have things like braking and steering assists on because I think those are stupid. Uh, but, you know, I have the things that you would have on in a game like Gran Turismo, for example, you know? Um, like most casuals are going to do. And I just think it breaks the game. Um... But 
Yeah, if the game had launched in its current state, we wouldn't be in this position. I wouldn't be wanting to quit the game so easily. My original plans for F124, regardless of how they fixed it or not, was that I was going to do about three seasons of the career mode, and then I was going to leave the game then. Which, may, which means I would have finished the game around October, November, maybe December, at a push, which I would have been completely fine with. Because 24, content-wise, doesn't add that much over F123 outside of... Uh, the career mode stuff. If anything, the game takes away. Uh, we don't have supercars anymore, which no one really is going to cry about. And we also don't have the story mode, which is fine. Whatever. Essentially, I would have finished my content on this game purely on burnout. You know? Uh, because I've been doing F1 content uh, quite a lot uh, since F123 came out. You know? So, I knew I wasn't going to... Um, you know, do the full year for F124, regardless of how good the game was. I, I've got plans uh, later on this year to go to F1 2016 and 2018 and give those games a go, you know, uh, to kind of shake things up a little bit because these games are looking quite a lot samey, which for me, again, isn't an issue. Um, and as you'll see throughout this uh, later, like throughout this video, you'll know that I wish this was an F123 reskin. But uh, little issues have sort of added up over time. And f first off, it wasn't I exactly the handling. The handling was rough. It was very stiff. It was very understeery. But even when it was fixed, again, this wasn't my issue. My issue was the dirty air and how difficult it was to catch up to other drivers. Once they were out in clean air, about a second ahead, like breaking out a DRS, you're not you're not catching up with them. Not at all. You're just not going to. It and I I thought that was just so cheap because in any other F1 game. It basically came down to just who drove better, uh, but in you know in other in this game that's just not exactly the case anymore. Uh, even if you turn the difficulty down, you know before anybody says, oh maybe you have the difficulty too high. I don't, because if I turn the difficulty any lower, I'm going to be dominating qualifying. You know, so it, it is genuinely a race condition problem. And the funny thing is, this isn't an issue when the game likes to shake things up a, uh, up a bit, like uh, in wet weather races, for example, which uh, the handling is quite fun. Again, it's unrealistic, but I don't mind it, you know? I, thought, I went back to F123 recently and did a wet weather race, and uh, yeah, I, I'd say that's definitely something F124 does better. Uh, it's just a bit more fun. But if you, like, if you do an F2 race... In F124, you won't be experiencing these same issues. It feels like the game is a lot more fair. Like, I get wanting to add dirty air to, um, you know, to make it a race gameplay thing. However, this should be an option that you should be able to tune or at least turn off, you know, because I, I think it just makes the race is just so boring at times, you know, don't even get me started on DRS, well, ERS trains, you know, like we said, we've got that issue with the ERS, um, oh, mate, we had that acceleration issue, the AI acceleration issue, which was the same issue in F122, which is a pattern now, the even-numbered F1 games, this particular development team clearly just doesn't know how to make these games properly, like, I get it, um, you know, they have to release the games earlier as EA are trying to get the F1 game to be in line with the actual season, which is fine. I get it. However, this is not an EA problem because we are two months into the game now and these fundamental issues are still issues. You know, they still exist. The AI acceleration thing has been tuned down, but to be quite honest with you, this was a thing I reported back in the first beta, guys. Literally like a month or two before the game even came out. This was something that long since should have been like fixed. You know, this is not an EA thing. This is straight up incompetency from this particular development team that does the last that's done the last couple of F1 games. And it's a shame because this is the same team that's done that did F1 2016, 2018 and 2020, you know. It's just been a huge drop-off ever since. And it's like, if this is the pattern that we're going to go down, why can't we just skip these games? Because we know we're going to get a lot of this content in the next game, such as, um, you know, F125. You know, F123 got uh, F122's My Team 
uh, you know, the newcomer and the championship contender, like preset sort of thing. And we know F125 will have all the new career mode stuff. What is the point in buying these even, num even numbered games if you can just wait and get the next one that will 100% be more polished and just an overall better game, uh, more refined, you know? Um, and that's sort of why I'm quitting F124 because there's just nothing in this game that is really keeping me in it now, you know, it's, uh, and a little bit of burnout as well, it's just, I'm kind of done, I'm kind of over it, I don't want to force myself to play this game, even for a couple of months, a couple of seasons, in the my team career, because I am just not enjoying it, at all, I just, ah, oh, man, this is only an, an announcement video, I don't want to go full in-depth critique, uh, basically, I've already told you a lot of my reasonings, um, just as a little extra, going back to F123, it's night and day. Uh, the store, for example. The loading is quicker, which I don't understand. Because um, I've recently just gone back to F123 current gen, uh, since I never played that. Races load like that in the career mode. For some reason, with current gen F124, uh, it feels like I'm playing last gen uh, F1 games again. Because uh, I played last gen F123, the loading screens seem very, like, the loading times feel so, so similar to that. And I don't get it, because F124 is fundamentally a smaller game, you know? F1 World, they've not added anything. Breaking Point isn't a thing anymore. Challenge Career is a flop, a total flop. Fan Zone, it's a cool premise. Nothing to really get hyped over, though. It's a nice addition, like, I'm fine with it. Uh, but once you reach the top of the leaderboards for stuff, it's kind of all like, you, you don't care anymore, you know? We've got things like the compendium that are still in the game that I just haven't touched at all, and it's just, it's all so pointless. It's, it's F123, it feels like F123 Lite, and that's awful, because this is the sequel to that game. And again, I wish, I wish it was an F123 reskin, but it isn't. It's fundamentally worse. Gameplay-wise, it is fundamentally worse in every in every area but wet weather races. And if we if we're talking realism, it's even worse in that department because again, it's clearly not realistic. But I'm fine with having unrealistic wet weather gameplay uh, if it's like F124 because it's fun, it's good. But if that's the only thing that's fun in, in this game, what is the point in playing it? You know, and I really regret purchasing it, but. I went in with the notion that, yeah, it could be an F123 reskin, but I don't care, because I loved F123, I really like the career editions that are being added, and I was rightfully excited for this game. But it's the gameplay, it's the driving, it's the physics, it's the dirty air, and how the AI, the AI are actually pretty good against you, but they don't seem to fight each other at all, hence why if two cars are out in clean air ahead of you, you are never going to catch up, because guess what, they will not fight each other, they'll fight you any day, and that's great, but they won't fight each other, and it's just awful, because F123 had the, had the drawback of, yes they fight each other, but they wouldn't fight you, why can't we have a game that does both? Like, are they doing this on purpose? I don't get it. I don't get it. But if it comes down to it, I would rather have a game with, you know, pacifist AI like F123 with the rest of the game absolutely amazing than F124 with actual fun, aggressive AI with everything else absolutely, like, just a nightmare. It's F122, but worse, because you have this ERS shenanigans like why is this even a thing why is it a thing i hate it. it it's not how they work in real life you know having used overtake in qualifying just to remain competitive because all the ai are using it because all the other players are using it, it just feels so tacked on and stupid i hate it i hate it so much and i hate that f125 is probably going to be a really good game but guess what? It's got all these things that F124 has added that's going to that's gonna hold it back. So what's stopping me from sticking with F123? You know, what's, what's stopping me from doing that? Nothing. You really need to start working on this sort of stuff, Codemasters. You can't hide behind EA because this is not an EA thing. I, I take it the store thing could be, but even then, 
uh, the things that we could get to purchase in the store at launch or even the default livery could have some creativity, man. Like, they, they're not even trying here. You play F1 World. You're racing against the same car 19 times, bro. In F1 23, if you were doing the F1 World events, every car had different designs. Why can't you do that now? When you, when you first start F1 World, that's fine. But after that, it's like they're not even trying anymore. You know? They're not trying with this game. And that's awful. That's genuinely awful. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing in your time? Like, I know the other development team's doing stuff. You know, they're fixing your mistakes with the handling and they're making the story mode. But what are you doing? F126 is shaping up to be an absolute disaster. And you know what? When that happens, when people are complaining about that, I'm just going to point to F124 and I'm just going to point to F122, just like a lot of us are going to do. I think it's time we just boycott these even-numbered F1 games because these are the ones with absolutely no effort in that are released just to release them earlier, and that's it. It's a shame. Um, but yeah, I didn't want this video to turn into some angry rant, but there you go. Uh, that is why I'm quitting F124. I don't know when I'll be back with F1 content because uh, I did think about doing some F123 content again, but I've gone back to that now, and it just it, it feels a lot of samey. I already put um, over a year into that game and it's just yeah i kind of just want to move on and do other things you know the uh, it was something that always nagged at me in the back of my mind when i was doing a lot of the f1 content you know that uh i could be doing other content but i'm focusing so much on this you know and it just makes the content feel a lot more samey so um i think we're going to take a month or so off uh we'll be back with f124 when the f4 uh, when the f2 2024 cars come out because uh, those are completely new. But other than that, you're not going to see any more F124 videos now. I have a bunch of ranked footage, actually. So we might still upload that um, when I get around to editing that. But other than that, yeah, I'm done with F124. Uh, F125, I'll give that a solid chance. Like, I'll play the beta, and if it's good, I'll pre-order it, whatever. But F126, I'm not pre-ordering that game under any circumstances because I just know after these last couple installments by this particular development team... I'm just going to be let down, and regardless of what patches they do, the damage is already done. You know, F124, it's a decent game now, but the damage is already done, and some of these issues are still lingering, and, you know, it's the same regulations. The only difference is a couple of different teams, you know, because they, they rebranded. The, the team lineups are still exactly the same, and if you don't really care much about the new career mode stuff, then there's literally no point in buying this you know it, it was it was a nothing burger of an f1 game and um yeah i'm kicking myself that i pre-ordered it but i don't exactly regret it you know i i came in with the lowest the lowest of expectations i wanted an f123 reskin and this is what we got and you know what i'm not playing it anymore i'm not giving it any more coverage that's it i'm done but hey, like I said, this gives me a lot more time to play other games now that I'm interested in. And uh, yeah, don't worry. We'll still be doing F1 content, like I said. 2016 playthrough coming later this year. Potentially 2018 as well as we wait for 25. Uh, and who knows, I'll maybe do some F1 23 content again uh, on the multiplayer if I feel like it. So, uh, And I probably will, you know. Uh, so yeah guys, cheers for watching, be sure to check out my other content if you're interested, intrigued at all, if you're new to the channel somehow, subscribe, please, I would really appreciate that, and uh, yeah, I hope to see you all on my future live streams and future videos, both uh, F1 and non-F1 related. Till next time, peace.